Bye. 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 <laughs> I will stop the stream now. This man is the most. Oh, big topic because we're going to talk about unity. It's been a while that players are waiting this. We've been awaiting this as a team. And finally we'll be able to turn this chapter. They're going back on all the questions that we've had over time. How is it going to go? The topics that changed, like the rewards. We understood quickly that you weren't satisfied by the first formula of rewards, so we came back on it. And the idea of today's live is a uh, big <laughs> FAQ. Just to check the various questions you have. And maybe re explain some important things on this better, which is quite individual and unique, because we are retesting the entire game. The first real big question is when is it opening tomorrow? Tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> the question came back so many times. We've asked it internally. When are we going to open the beta for you? So it will be in the afternoon. Definitely not in the morning. Thank you, Istos. Don't take, don't take any risks. It will be in the afternoon. So it will definitely not be before 4 p.m. Their time, Dofus time. That's the time we're aiming for. It'll go well. We'll be there. We'll be there at four. It will go very well. Easy. <laughs> so it certainly will be in the late afternoon. It won't be in the morning. And it won't be 8 p.m. or 10 p.m. No, it will be timely at 4 p.m. And the idea of new servers, where is it coming from to begin with? Because I can see that we had so many servers for the beta. What's the idea there? So we had multiple phases and we started from the phase number one with fresh servers like this for two big reasons. First one is this opening of new servers will allow us not just a little bit but massively simulate the opening of the new servers that we will do at the end of the year. So there was blocking points, some elements that are repetitive, some equipment that are overrepresented. It's talking about the toady. Some uh, professions that are high tension when you open the new servers. We have some dungeons as well. So we want to see how it goes and allow ourselves the time to, to have some time between now and the opening of the final server to make a lot of remediations changes on the equipment, some recipes to rework some professions to rework we know we've talked about it multiple times uh in previous lives we are a big enterprise with many games and we talk interdepartmentally with others immediately after the new servers launch we talked with to with them and to them about the problems they had and what they are trying to do to solve for them and we want this experience to be as agreeable and beautiful for you as possible and mainly to allow ourselves the time to do the simulation of what it looks like for a new server to launch and the actual launch that is expected in the end of that December. And the second point is to try and... Oh, it, that doesn't help. So, to smooth the bug reporting, so now with the testing that are there, you will test the first early spells, early gales, early dungeons and stuff like that and then later on you can revisit uh, higher end stuff so we want to have bug reports that are spread in time and across levels of progression not just end game one of the most questions that came back in forums and stuff like that was if phase one was put in place what is the early game experience why don't you add more rewards later on for us, this entire beta is exceptional in that we have the entire game to retest. It's not just like uh, specific gameplay parts like we've done in the past, like a new level dun 200 dungeons or stuff like that. Here we have the entirety of the game to retest and the best way to retest it is just to play like we do normally. We all have uh, game habits, we all have ways of playing, we all have ways of customizing um, teams, uh, progression, so the Unity Beta really here is 
at the heart of it wants you to test the entire game. That's why we've put some um, rewards very late game. In order to reach 200, you'll have to play a lot. But the objective for us is to have as much feedback as possible. And as Rebek said, that the feedback be spread across time, especially classes, interfaces. And as the game experience progresses, then we can s target more specific gameplay modes and things like that. And to go back on what he just said now, Parpino, we have made the choice not to have specific bonuses on the beta. So no multipliers in dungeons, experience, drop, professions and stuff like that. Because on the new servers, we won't have anything remotely close like that. And we don't want to um, ruin the simulation by not giving you an accurate one to go through. And that's it. This does not stop us from being attentive during the beta and see. We know the friction points that you guys have, but we will stay attentive like nuggets and stuff like that. If there's anything that is quite difficult at the early game, we will. We want the experience to be vanilla without any intervention from our part. If it is ever necessary to activate rewards for some things in particular, we can make them easier to obtain and things like that. But in essence, we don't want to give you things like um, infinite keys for dungeons and stuff like that. It has been really long time that we haven't done any opening of a server like this in a while. And we've done a an XP redesign of many facets of early game and we want to see how you guys handle that. The other thing is that idols have been completely removed. So XP and drop. The prospection formula has been reviewed. You generate a lot less resources nowadays, not just boss mats. And everything has been, mo the recipes that have been modified. So we have a cocktail right now where we don't have enough uh, distance from this entire changes to see what they look like at early game. But nowadays we have to know how a server start behaves. And the temporises are a bit close to what we're talking about but they all have multipliers and things like that that thwart our experience of see exactly how it behaves so we need to see how it behaves in a, in the most vanilla way i have three points to mention that are exceptional about this list so we have three tools uh, in our hands if uh, there's ever any friction or anything like that so uh pebbles gildalo gems and um, nuggets guildalo gems especially because we want people to create guilds very easily and for nuggets uh, as we've said it in the news we have some bugs on the a AVA so we don't want that to spill over and slow down your pro progression especially with um, with a lot of recipes requiring it we won't be giving them away but you will have to to buy them using camas from an NPC if we ever deem that uh, necessary and similarly with the uh, sparkling pebbles from Colosseum. Some other things that we're doing on uh, uh, at the start of the server launch is we will double uh, bosses and stuff like that in uh, dungeons. We will make sure the spawn rate is quicker of mobs so that because everyone is arriving at the same time we'll make sure that you have um, enough nodes and stuff like that we don't want any um, crowdedness in dungeon rooms and things like that I'm seeing a question about classes will there be any class revamp or redo oh yes we do have one I forgot yeah the very early level we've reviewed the first early levels of spells so tomorrow it will be published at the same time at the beta we've made some adjustments for the classic servers, it will have very little impact, if I can say so. But we have reviewed the spell repetition on the first five levels to facilitate the launch of the first few levels. So right now, we have four spells basic uh, at the start, one in every element. You know the four element. And at level five, you get an extra level and every five levels you get one there's one exception for the rogue where uh, we had a problem with the bombs so you have three elemental spells and the detonation spell 
and you get your fourth elemental spell at level five. But this is the exception, which means for the for every class you have from the very start ample choice of which class, which element you want to play. And the Elio portals arrive at level five. The goal generally is to have a an every, a spell in every element, and for your game development, you know the class. Uh, identity to develop from level 5 and we're looking at this from the better and this will happen on the official on the classic server on the official play uh, servers but we will test it this is happening in September but we're testing it now on the better just to see how it looks like before we release it on the classic servers a big part of the graphic design uh, game design changes that we've had we will be testing them during this beta if it works or not we will see but we are testing them to see how they look like we are waiting your return on things like that a question that we've had at the moment of why is the beta only available to subscribed people so for this beta phase we want feedback of active players that are active right now and this is why we reserved the access to uh, subscribed people essentially uh, I've, I've read this because Ankama loves money it's not really that <laughs> would have loved to love he's getting a uh, feedback noise in his mic so in essence to have players that are currently active that will test it will allow us to have better quality feedback and more specific feedback and this is something that we are insisting on during the beta so there's a forum part that is accessible yeah. right now um, on the forum so you can where well, we show you how we want you to give us feedback so all the technical aspects and stuff like that uh, step by step so you understand how to give us the exact names, the right files and stuff like that, how to bug report. And these are things that you already have access to on the forum that I invite you to go and view it because there's a lot of information that will be useful for all team. Thank you Azuli for putting that in the uh, chat. There will be so many uh, ways for you to communicate to us so that we can debug your client immediately. I've seen a question uh, about differences between mono account and multi account servers and this question has been posed a lot and we've answered it earlier with the community manager. If I have mo mo mono ac multi account uh, server rewards will I be able to apply them to a mono account server? There is absolutely no distinction between the this between the rewards generated from mono versus multi. The rewards will be identical. They will be attributable, so you can apply them to any server you play. Whether you do your rush on a multi where you usually play on a mono account, your rewards will be able to be assigned to any server that you play right now. And you can keep them to the side and apply them only at the end of the year when we release the final new servers. And we've talked about it at the start of the live. It would be really cool to have rewards uh, about professions, because I know very few people will want to do them because they're tedious. We have talked about it just before the live. We're thinking about it. Hey. There's, uh, the question is coming back a lot. Aside from possibly... No, no. Aside from achievement points, we're trying to find a way to make them more rewarding. Specifically for professions. We have thought about primordial um, shield cosmetics, but it doesn't make sense with the beta. But we're trying to find... Uh, an idea yeah. so yeah. Uh, for example we're thinking if you level a uh, profession to level 200 uh, it takes you straight to the next uh, phase uh, you know uh, it just gets you automatically bumped up on uh, the reward tier and same thing with breed it as well we're thinking about it we've put it during the news but it's not closed in this phase 2 and phase 3 that I remind it's happening in three phases. The first one, it's fresh start servers. And the phase number two, where we will do a sort of mirror of what you actually have right now. So it's like a Draconeros beta, Takasha beta, which will last a month. And phase three, which will be about two months of uh, 
free loot servers, like the betas you have learned to know. Will there be any rewards? Will there be not? We're trying to find a formula for the next two ones. Now, there aren't any, but we really are keen to add them. These are things that we're working on to find a really good formula adapted to that phase to find the middle ground. Why is Shadow not on the phase two? Because currently as it stands, there is nothing particular to Shadow in terms of gameplay that we need to observe the effects of for Unity. So if we do it for other servers, it's just because we need to see what everything that exists now, breeding, um, uh, real estate, so houses and stuff like that. And the epic side of Shadow, we don't really need to observe it because Unity does not bring any change to that, globally speaking. So that's why we don't have any Shadow better during Unity. I've noted two questions that I saw. The first one is pre-download of the client before the uh, opening. I can't ensure that this will happen. It will depend largely when the client will be ready from our side. We're trying to front load it. We're trying to do it as early as possible. We can't guarantee you anything. And the other thing is the change log. You have to know, as I've said earlier, there will be a change log about the modifications of low level spells from level one to level five, which will be published at the same time as the opening. And there won't be any change log at the, uh, that will be published principally because the modifications that will happen on Unity I'm saying just, I don't want to minimize the effect on important, but there isn't main gameplay. We, we haven't balanced any bosses. We haven't balanced classes in this uh, beta. We're just balancing the early levels. The beta is tomorrow. <laughs> People are talking about the beta. Are they like, are you going to open it now? Is it happening now? We're, they're finishing up the beta for uh, tomorrow. But generally, there was a little bit of a f something that we forgot. Friday morning, we realized that we forgot to add... Well, we had the... Uh, up. We added the professions, but we forgot the um, tools, the profession tools. So we found little bugs that we are m making up for. We are already ready, but there are some tiny minor changes that we need to smooth over that we're trying to correct right now before the opening. Some modifications that happened very recently following the dev blog that we've uh, sent about the cosmetics and stuff like that. There was a big feedback and we've made a, a change. The cosmetics will not be linked to a character. They will be linked to an account in a server. So if you have... Right, so if, so, oh wow, okay, so if you have a wardrobe of cosmetics, you will be able to use them across all characters, so if you switch character, you will still have the cosmetics there, so you won't need to transfer them between accounts, between characters of the same account anymore, they are linked to the account generally. We, we happily changed this, we've liked the fact that you've brought this, and it's something that we've changed it since the feedback you've given us before we even started. And we have to specify it's per server, so if you have many characters in many servers, it will be just the one. Yeah, so if you have cosmetics, they will be you will be able to apply them across all characters of the same one account on the same one server. Opening time, we've said it, it will be around 4pm at their time. And we're staying around then. It won't be any earlier for sure. Will the class set change with uh, low level spells changing now? Nope. The client level. At the level client, the performance. We had loads of feedback about multi encounters on the fact that the client was already 2 gigabytes and stuff like that. It's still the case between every account we've passed some new optimizations so that every client is less hungry over long clients it's not sufficient we're not perfectly convinced and happy with it but we're still working on it we have more than the need to get feedback from you about multi-accounting over long sessions because it is highly demanding of uh, machines like you know the memory leak the famous memory leak there's still a bit of that happening so, but we've targeted a big chunk of it uh, and now we have um, 
We have perfs, I don't know what that is. That are quite good, especially for Unity. And multi-accounting, especially. And mm. uh, these are things that we will be observing during the beta. And we still need to pass optimizations at this level. And that's why we had uh, multi, uh, multitude of phases of servers so that we can observe across all of them. And because I talked about multi-accounting, we'll talk about the hero mode that I'm seeing in the chat question pop by a lot. We've communicated in multiple lives before, but I will say it now here again. The hero mode right now stays in research and development. There is no certainty in terms of time as to when it will come out. As it stands, we are with the team trying to bring it... Um, Ooh, hold on, let me see. So it's still research, and that's why we did multiple types of servers for the beta, and we have done it on multi account because it was important. Hold on, the hero. The hero mode. They haven't mentioned the uh, linked to character especially in name, but what they have said now, uh, APOC, is that all of your cosmetics will be shared. They didn't say including this, they just said all of your cosmetic um, wardrobe, let's say, will be shared across every character of your same account across the one server. So if your Zell or main has all the Twitch shield and stuff like that, I imagine with the description they have given that you will be able to just... If you change character and go to a different one, then you will see it on the same interface on the ready. This is how it sounds like from the way they've mentioned it. So hero mode is research and development. There is no certainty as to when it will arrive. Right now, so... So auto follow, for example, uh, auto join the group chief and possibly pass some ergonomic stuff about ergonomic navigation between windows. The navigation between uh, windows is a bit too complex, but the, uh, the other ones are much, much so simpler. We want to test this stuff in uh, October, but for the hero mode generally, it's still in R&D. F Wakfu, for example, they had a team dedicated just to the hero mode and it took them one year to conceive of it, implement it and have it in place. So it's really complex to fit all of that in with the Unity update and everything that is happening. But I think it might be the, not a good decision to pass with everything that we're doing right now. But the ergonomic changes we've discussed, we'll try and sort of test them by... Uh, but it could potentially arrive between one year to one year and a half. But again, it's speculative timing from my part. We would like it to arrive by then or before then. But we will initially have the ergonomic features that we will include in it uh, and test them during the beta and bring them into the game. And so that when the hero mode ever arrives, we have all the components of it to include them. And if I don't say anything stupid here, there's Dofus Touch that started the poll not very not too long ago a poll about the hero mode and between us we discuss a lot between teams and the question that is difficult with the hero mode is the um achievement quest progress and things like that dofus touch asked them if players were interested to have a hero mode but were characters the parallel characters they would be more like sidekicks than actual real characters that have their own quests and their own um, and their own achievements. So we don't want to generalize because Touch is slightly different from uh, uh, normal Dofus. But the question is there. How far do we push the hero mode and how do we make it happen? The formula is yet to be adapted to the game that we love. But we don't want to divulge too much. But yes, the formula has to be adapted. And we just want to move on to something else. Let, let, let's put an end to this. So the problem that I have right now with the hero mode. Uh, in the way that Wakfu does it. If we bring it to Dofus. It directs a big part of the game development. And the way to design game. Becomes identity number one of the way we do everything in the game. So the... Oh, hold on, let, let, let me... Uh, it becomes a central part, you can't avoid it. And so mono accounting uh, would... 
would benefit ah the, the the mono accountant play style would would be completely harmed by us bringing the wakfu style uh, hero mode it would completely ruin the mono experience because hero mode as they have it right now in wakfu is mono account and you have three others or seven others hiding behind you that you can benefit from at any moment in time so why wouldn't you is what he's saying so it's going to harm mono accounting it's very very personal point of view but yeah and we have another feature that makes the game fabulous with the hero mode and it will have to evolve with this new style and this is not what we want for the office i like multi accounting i love multi account i don't necessarily want to have multi uh, hero mode as it is now on wakfu in current office right now we all have our opinions about the evolution of the game where we want it to go the hero mode and stuff like that so let's talk about stuff that we need to discuss now Moving on, no! phase two of the beta is the one where you will be able to play the characters that you have in classical servers now. You will be able to test them in the beta. So we will do just like we've done in previous betas, if you remember, uh, three or four betas away. We'll take the current server data and we will copy them and paste them on the beta servers. And in this process right here, there's an important date, which is the copy date. Which Generally, we do it on a Tuesday before the beta. From memory, uh, it's the 10th or so September, and we will do that sort of like the Tuesday 3 September or something like that. They're checking the day around then. So there will be slightly, he's saying there will be a lag for phase two because the copy will happen before the opening. So you'll have every server in the beta. You have the Imagero beta, the Draconeros beta, the Tokasha beta, and you will be able to test. Uh, your your uh, quest progression and things like that all your data you will not lose them massively but you will have your inventory your cosmetics stuff like that we will we will make some tweaks so it will be the opportunity for you to be sure for when the unity beta releases in december go and try them see that you have the same copy oh yeah okay so use this as a fail safe to see that you have all your equipment all of them make it to the beta and from tomorrow you'll be able to see there is a uh, revamp that has been on the, all the interfaces of the game everything has been changed reviewed improved we've gained some perf a lot of performance on so many things but at the same time we need to see vis-a-vis -vis your gaming habits and how that will change so for people who do a lot of breathing will this formula work for you Will uh, so 15 year old servers do not have the same need as fresh new servers. Same for maging, breathing, it's not the same needs when you're doing a simple maging on a small level. Whereas compared to someone working on really high level item for five hours, so we want to see uh, the the observe observations that we will have from you playing this beta will be really important and please do communicate to us from the start and phase two and three as well every time we start a new phase everything that has happened in the previous one will not be accessible as in the phase one characters that you will level when you go to phase two they will be wiped they will be completely lost uh, but one thing will remain constant is if you've unlocked any sort of rewards you will retain them but what will be lost will be uniquely the uh, uh, characters you've leveled and stuff like that and we really really want you to give give us as much feedback as we will never have the foresight to know what to change if you don't tell us exactly what is happening and phase three i'm seeing this in uh, the chat it's the last phase that will start on the 10th of october where not there we will have uh, new servers where we don't have your, your characters that you know. It will be free loot. So it's like the new version of the betas where you log in and you have all characters and stuff like that for free. It's a format where you have a potion that will be available from Econim that takes you to an area that with an NPC that will sell you everything that is possible to have in the game and stuff that is not available in the game generally so you can speed up your progression. So you can go to level 200 with a couple of clicks, you can learn all spells, you can have all professions 200. The idea there of phase 3 is if you want to do something, there is very little friction and distance between you. Except the quest, there are no objects uh, that help you. Like if you want to do a quest fight, it's really complicated, you have to do the quest generally. 
And even then we are enhancing our proposition. We're trying to find on the test cell. We are trying to make a lot of things available to you like quest items that we require to get into a quest fight and stuff like that. We will revisit this and talk about it in October, November. But yeah, essentially we want you to be able to unlock specific quest fights without having to do the quest line or the chain or stuff like that. You can just jump in directly. Linux. Yes, technically the client is available on Linux. It's not the most optimized client. It's not the one that we focus the most. But yes, it is there. It exists. It's playable. We had some... F uh, please do give us some feedback if you are Linux players and you use these machines. And Mac, of course, as well. Yeah. Uh, in essence, whether you play in Windows, Mac or Linux, the client is available on all machines, but not on tablets. That, that is not happening. <laughs> do I have any other questions? If you have any more questions... We have the client available, ready. And, uh, uh, on Steam Deck, it will be possible to use it, but we have no idea how it will behave and how it will work and stuff like that. <laughs> Windows 98 <laughs> lies. <laughs> We've talked about interfaces. There were some uh, changes. Uh, even the Majin one, for example, had uh, a lift up as well. We had some. Um, we had the question about uh, can we max uh, screen? Yes, you will still be able to play in full screen mode. What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you okay? He's got snacks. Okay. It's 30 minutes. 30 more minutes. Right. A little disclaimer, because I'm reading now on the notes and chats that I'm seeing here. We have some maps and some areas that are not yet animated. It's important to tell you this for phase one, because we're continuing to work on it actively, but we have 15,000 maps all in all that we need to finish by December. So it's completely normal right now. If during the beta, you find that some maps are um, not fully animated and sorted out. For example, I know that Free Ghost. We arrived towards the Tengu and we still have the Frygos 3, Frygos 3, uh, 2 and 3 that aren't quite animated. Otomai, we're working on it now, but you won't have it in the beta. So there are some areas like this that make it so that we don't have 100% animation on all maps. What sort of percentage can you tell us? <laughs> we are way over 50%, yeah. So uh, that is to say, uh, if we've done more than 50% of the maps, it doesn't mean we've done over 50% of the total workload because we have some maps like Kanya or massive and require more animation dungeons. We have 10 dungeons left that require animation, but you have about the vast majority that are already animated. The divine dimension, I'm having some doubts here, but I think they're largely animated. But globally, you have a vast majority of the game that is already animated and you should be having fun with it. So we've animated the low level uh, areas first because that's where you will start. So the progression... Oh, will we have all the all new music? Of course we will have the new music. We're so excited for you to discover the game with the new music. Reminder to self, play with sound and music. Yeah, you've heard it on the um, beginning music of the live. You've heard the new pieces and yeah it was it's insane it's amazing we're so excited uh, whoever is going to do professions during the beta will have a blast with the new music to accompany the profession doing and stuff like that so you will have the entire composition portfolio and for you for those of you he's taking the question about animation <laughs> it just spoiled <laughs> It hurts us. It's it's been five years that we, the level designers have worked so hard. The graphics work so hard, and the question keeps coming up: Can we deactivate everything? It hurts us so much. Yes, you will be able to deactivate everything. Also on maps as well. All the fight maps will be available and animated. Just to remind everyone, there will be a new functioning of maps in Unity. There are five 
predetermined maps per area, and every time you start a fight, you are t teleported to one of those at random. This has been mentioned a lot on the forum. It, it hasn't been very popular in terms of concept. Uh, people are saying we've lost a lot in terms of lore, the roleplay, and stuff like that. And, yeah. So I'm very curious about people who farm zones enormously and that benefit from these maps. So uh, we just want to use a, a smooth transition about the forum. There's a new section and the ideal is for you to pay attention to where you put your post. In which section? Because there's one for bugs, there's one... So here, if you encounter something that shouldn't be there, like a button that doesn't work and stuff like that. And another part where you can raise things like... Uh, map fights if you have a feeling to share about the functioning of the new random maps uh, are they legible or not this is uh, these are not really bugs but there are things that we can rework and stuff like that and your feedback is important so please pick the right section to put your feedback because we have different teams reading different areas of the um, here we're talking about maps it could be anything like interfaces and stuff like that if there are any classes that are struggling with some animations and stuff like iops wrath we talked about it if you found that it's not really beautifully designed and stuff like that it's feedback it's really important but different teams deal with different things so please pick the right stuff the right area in the client we've added the little button where you can just uh, have it always at the top right next to the um the interface option, the settings, client settings, so you can report bugs directly from that. That will redirect you to the forum section. So every time you encounter a bug, just go there, hit that button, and it will send you to the place where you can get as many information to post it in the right. So we can ameliorate and enhance the better for you constantly with your feedback. We will be able to finish the Alman accidents entirely doing the better. No. I've seen the question about the tactical, an ugly tactical mode. I'll take the question again. There will not be a tactical mode in Unity. Will we be able to see? So if you press the letter L, you will be able to see the placement before you start the fight. You will see a little interface that will pop as an overlay. Uh, I will not tell you more, you have to see it. It will show you the map and the placement and stuff like that. And here I've seen something about the efficacy of um, we need some playtest and then give us some feedback about it. The efficacy of uh, the new maps and redesign of stuff like that. So legibility and every aspect of it. We need you to test them, try them and then go back to it. <clears throat> we know there are things that need enhancement and... Uh, making better but it's usually very high level stuff like Cthulhu for example it's not evident without a full tactical mode there are things that we can revisit and look over in terms of visibility and stuff but generally for the game it's really cool we don't have it and it's really cool for ultra wide monitors you should be able to use them no problem You won't be able to use the uh, ultra ultra wide ones that are over a meter wide, <laughs> but you will be able to to view the client and, and all. Do we have any other features that will not be available? We've talked about Haven bags. In the news, we've put down the customization of uh, recipes will not be available. Uh, Alea. We've talked about it earlier. We have sadly another point that will be deactivated, which is the Don't. fractal dungeon. Because there's an incompatibility between the Flash and Unity versions. And if we modify the fractal uh, dungeon, so it's functional in Unity, it won't function in uh, Flash anymore. So AVA and uh, fractal. AVA is present, but we haven't done in depth tests to tell you exactly how it would look like but we've encountered loads of bugs from having tested it so there's problems between the interface and the server side so there's lots to review but it is it is it is available Colosseum will be available so you will be able to try them creature mode is a mode that is still you will be able to toggle on off on the game yeah it's still it's still available 
on the fight maps. Every dungeon has its own fight map that will be generally the same as the roleplay one. No. The quest fights similarly. They won't be on a random pool of maps, they stay on their own exact map. And it changes nothing about the gameplay of those fights. So for the quest fights, it was quite the struggle. <laughs> we had to. There were some that we struggled with. And there were some quest maps that used area maps, which was quite a packet, a handful to deal with. So we have made extra maps specific to quest fights and stuff like that, and we will see how it behaves during the beta. And we'll get your feedback and take it into account. Somebody's asking about Foganaut's uh, turrets. And he's like, you can test them tomorrow. The maps from dungeons that were reworked oh! during the tactical mode, but the disposition, the starting position and stuff like that, and the way they are laid out now is the same. Whether it be maps that have specific starting points, or like a royal gobble does not have anything special about his uh, map uh, shape, but it still hasn't been modified anyway. Yeah. Alula. Any low level rework is something that will be happening, but it won't be available from phase one of the beta. We're not passing any big updates or changes about classes, items, and stuff like that. It's previewed, it is expected to arrive for December, but not for. Uh, dreams will be available and they will be normal. So there's no rework of dreams happening now. Now they will be available in the beta as you know them right now. For those of you who gave us feedback about shields, for the um, the design, yeah. So the we we understood you. We've changed the shields to make them larger, and the inky veil has been fixed. This beta, in particular, we are trying to get as much feedback as possible and take them into account. Show us. So we want to take in your feedback into account. So give us as much of it as possible. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, you will be able to see and test it. The objective is to take into account your feedback and see a game evolution with you. So the shields, we've reviewed them. We've gone over them. The inky veil as well, because it was one of the biggest feedbacks we've got on about the presentation. If you have more uh, feedback, in the beta about some uh, design direction of some stuff we can go back over them whereas boats it's a beta we're not here to test anti bots and stuff like that we have some things that are happening in the background so there are things that are happening with the client directly and with the not with the beta especially and it will be available uh, so anti bot stuff you will be able to see it you will be able to see the effects of it when we release the uh, beta when we release the final game in december 10 minutes, 10 minutes, I've speeded up the... The cinematics. Some of them have been removed, some of them have been reworked. Uh, but no, there's not been largely any change. Any max... What about max FPS we've done? Have we done any tests? The maximum that we've encountered recently during one of the tests, we are going over around 60 without problems. It's fluid, it's smooth. But one of the most important points for the multi-accounters is that your client will will have RAM that keeps memory leaks that increases over time. Between five six hours, you start having uh, performance loss. Can you please, if it happens to you, get, tell us, give us the feedback so we can understand where it's coming from. Is it the interface opening animations? What is it exactly coming from? It's one of the first times that we will have a test with as many uh, wide machines, number of machines and stuff like that, because there's going to be many of you trying it. I've noted four important points here, which I've not thought about. The first one is, for those of you who don't know, with the, uh, the bugs, if it's a map bug and stuff like that in the client, just like Flash, you can put slash map ID and it will pull an ID for that map. It's very useful. It allows us to save a lot of time by telling us exactly about which map you've encountered the... Uh, oh, the map that you've encountered a problem with. So if you find a problem with a specific map, help us by giving us more detail about which one it is that you found. And here about the server side thing for the Unity beta, 
we have made new modifications monster related there were many behaviors situational behaviors that were problematic the uh, artificial intelligence is quite difficult to correct for and i'm not saying that we've corrected all the problems and all but if you notice any sort of uh, weird behavior compared to what you know about flash please tell us in the bug section and the other one is the optimization part on uh, uh, lags so we did a big change on that so when there's a map it's something that we've tested in the last beta when there's a lot of people in one map uh, here there will be a lot more people than any time before and we are hoping to see uh, the effects of it and here we go to the last fourth point if you want to see the current state of lag is slash ping there we have a command that will tell you oh yeah oh we have a new command it's a wow. ping so it's average ping, which will, it's a more representative Daddy. ping, which uh, takes Dad. into account a larger period of time Dad. and which lets us see what no, your ping no. has been over no, the last no. 100 milliseconds no. or something like that. So we want you to do a lot more of this no, A-ping no, no, slash no, no. during the first few days and stuff like that and in maps and Carnum and stuff like that, just so we can see uh, how it works. So slash map ID no, slash no, A-ping. No, 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 no. No. And we had two questions no. purely client related. Uh, I think. I've noted two questions that are purely client. Why are you eating money? No. no. So the map change will be incredibly fluid to the point where we have made a minimal uh, change. So that okay, okay. So, no. so you can see one black frame. It's so fluid that there's only one frame if you slow it down. And the other thing is, will animations slow down the fight? Uh, here, typically, it's something that we want to observe during the beta. It's something that's been asked a lot, and we will need to follow it up. On average, how long do players take to um, to play their turn? So, if uh, a royal gobble or takes as much time takes as much time as it does on flash so we're going to see how long it takes you to do some dungeons some fights between the two clients unity and the flash one and if we notice that it takes a lot longer to do on uh, the unity client we will then have to review something about the animation because we will have evidence that it takes longer to do it if animations are on for everyone so it's something that we've paid special attention to on the game development so we want them to be seamless fluid and not rapid and it's something that we want to observe during the beta and see how it looks like. So if someone... Oh, so animations can no longer be deactivated. Activated. You can no longer stop the animations. Yeah. So there is no, not going to be a case where someone has them on and someone doesn't. <laughs> We've said it. It was enough. So the creature mode we're keeping, but the animations can no longer be stopped. So we stopped getting questions the moment we said animations can't be switched up. <laughs> so data side, we have made a special request for the team to give us data about how long it takes to play a turn, fight, uh, release a spell, stuff like that. And we want to compare that to the flash side just so we can decide do we reactivate, the, the, uh, so do we want to make them uh, deactivable? So do we want to make it so that you can deactivate them if they are uh, added to the time or not? But we need to do some tests first and observe the data and then make a decision on that basis. For the rewards, I can't show you them, but next week you will be able to see them. It will be okay. So next week we will do another live one week into the beta so we can talk about bugs, actualities, you know, updates and stuff like that. And then we can talk uh, rewards. If we, yeah, so animation, we said that you will be able to cancel animations and the way you do it is when you stack them. So when you cast the second one directly, immediately behind it, it will cancel the first one in a way that shortens it. But yes, it's one of the biggest changes that we have had. We've changed the VFX of every class so that we had some classes that were quite lengthy to play, like uh, pandas and stuff like that. So it was a big work that we've done. And if you have lengthy, slow animations, 
please do tell us feedback because we've worked it so that if you cast multiple spells at the same time they shorten each other and they go faster and this is all in the spirit of you having a fluid and fast gameplay play as fast as you want to play while having animations that's the ideal for us we don't want to get rid of animations to so you can have uh, speed while waiting for I wanted to add something about what Rebex said with the bug reporting. If you ever have something that has happened and your client has generated an error, we will receive it. So when you do a bug report is to tell us which account and which time it happened so that we can retrieve it in the log. Yeah. The bug reports. If you press F1, you no longer need to do that and generate it. You just tell us the time. And the account. Zero, let's talk about Zero. There will be gameplay modifications at the end of the year, but not during the beta. Will the resources be gathered at the same spots? Yes, all the nodes. <laughs> we've we've redone all 15,000 maps to animate them, but we're not gonna change their placements or anything now. Last minute. <laughs> Ooh, um, final hits, you know, those special hits with animations and stuff. They won't be available immediately. And it's the same for uh, emotes. We have a big chunk that needs to be done, but we will have a basic emote. Um, the emote that does like this. So, shrug. They will arrive at a later phase, but we have, we've prioritized class animation over those minuscule details. So, c server capacity question. So, we have three servers on the first... Uh, they have equal capacity to the classical servers that we have and our objective is all those that want to come and play the beta can do it so if we have too many people we will find a way so that we can mm, shove everyone in so we'll have one multi account and the rest will be multi monarch oh wait wait what, what, what? one mono account and the other two will be uh, multi account I have a question that is addressed to you how are we feeling at G minus one so each one, do they have that answer? Yeah, you go first. Between stress and excitation. She's excited. It, we've been working on this for a very long time. We've been developing some cool things. There's a monstrous work behind it. That, And to work on something for five years and not see the end of it, it's just like walking a mountain and never seeing the peak of it. And we hope that everything goes well. We want to have so many positive feedback, but at the same time, I have one wish and desire, is I want a mountain of feedback so that we can start correcting everything, making everything better, so that for December's release, uh, we're ready and everything goes perfectly. So tomorrow afternoon, you will see us on the server. We will, I can tell you, we will be playing. <laughs> His main worry is to imagine what we have in our heads because it has been a long time that we've been talking about unity and stuff like that if you put unity uh, on youtube you see the 3d uh, first mappings that we've done so many years ago but that goes to show that we've had a lot of information a lot of talk a lot of info we've shared something that were obsolete some things that are new Sometimes you've seen some information that has changed over time. What I'm really hoping is that you don't have a bad surprise when you land in Unity tomorrow. And you can... It doesn't want us to have an idea of what it will look like and only to be disappointed when we open the client. So this is my only worry is what are your expectations and whether we will meet them when you open the client. So this is what I have in mind for what we're proposing tomorrow. So the game development formula is exactly identical. Everything you know about the game will be the same. Uh, mounts, oh the uh, artistic direction of the mounts, uh, the the Drago Turkey we can't deal with it anymore. It's disgusting. The sea mule was disgusting from the start, <laughs> but it's not something that we will modify Mommy. now. It's something Mommy. that will be modified Mommy. later, not immediately. Mommy. Yeah, Mommy. the animators are working on classes as a priority. Mommy. We want to finish the classes first. Music for every spell as well has been worked at the same time as the animation. So, in essence, Unity revamp, it's clear for us in terms of scope and work. But for you, you don't necessarily see... It's a lot of invisible work for you. There's a lot of game development. Uh, 19 classes to reintegrate for animations and everyone has 36 spells and stuff like that. So tomorrow, we are super excited that everything goes super well for you. Will NPCs be animated? I've seen it multiple times in chat. During the Japan Expo, we showed 
a new scenarization option for NPCs. So when you talk to them, they can uh, cry. She was crying. Yeah, she was crying during the Japan Expo and she can turn and point you in the right direction of where to go. Yes, uh, it won't. It won't be happening on all quests, but it's a new option that we have the ability to do. But I don't want you to expect that all quests tomorrow at the opening will be ready, so it won't be. It will take us a lot of time. If we did this, we won't be able to do other things. And we've asked ourselves internally, do we want to animate NPC dialogues? Or do we want to be working on more foundational things? <laughs> I've got a question about Unity. Is it Dofus Unity or Dofus 3.0? So we will move away from the wording unity because that's just the engine behind it. We will start talking about Dofus 3 and maybe just go back on some sort of just Dofus simple naming. But it's, it's a language abuse. The game is Dofus, Unity is the engine, but it's not a new game called Dofus Unity. But it will become version 3.0, but globally it will stay the same brand name, Dofus. Globally, there won't be any difference between the multi and mono account rewards. So review the footage if you can, because we've answered the most questions that I'm seeing right now. So if you spam a question and we don't answer it, that means we have already picked it up earlier. Is there a... Um, a oh, I don't know what the name of it is. Uh, colorblind mode. There are some interfaces that can be adapted. That changes the colors of text and everything to do with dialogues and every sort of available text. So if there is any need to add theme and colors and stuff like that for uh, colorblind people, we will add themes for that. Uh, they're still talking about the uh, accessibility features. If you think of anything, let them know so they can add them. No, this is not good for you. It's not good for you. So if you have any ergonomic changes and stuff like that, we will let you know when they happen. Hello, Agarok. The... Uh, the bride. <laughs> that won't be added anytime soon. That's a joke. No. Easy anti-cheat. No. It's not... Uh, easy anti-cheat is something that we have put completely on standby. Easy anti-cheat. We've tested it in one beta. Uh, we don't remember exactly which number it was. But during the test for this beta, we've realized that the easy anti-cheats were not adapted to Dofus. We had a few months after that beta. Uh, a few other games have tried those exact same formulas. It didn't go well for them. For those of you that played it, you know exactly what happened. It has ruined their uh, game. But to our, in our mind, it's not the solution that we need for Dofus. I know some of you talked about Vanguard, it's something that is adapted to Riot games and it works for those type of games, not for us. So easy anti-cheat is something that we're abandoning internally for the office and it, it does, it's not a solution that works for you. It's not, I will not say never, but it's not something that works for us right now, so abandon it. I've seen a question about GPS. During the last Temporis, we've tried GPS for all and we were very happy with it. And now we are thinking about adding GPS for all the moment you are on a pet mount or a mount, you have GPS auto. Whoa, and we're thinking about on foot GPS. <laughs> He's making a joke about GPS little beasts under your uh, shoes. But yeah, they're trying to push it a bit further uh, in terms of ergonomy, movement and stuff like that. We want to make it as seamless as possible. Yeah, once you test GPS and then you go back, it's just difficult. It's something that we want to add for everyone during the beta, and, and we think it's probably for the best. And while talking about the GPS, we've seen the, the question be asked about in the news. For people who have not done uh, usual betas, everything that is... Um, oh, so shops and the rewards, you can't buy sets, cosmetics and stuff like that and you can't get the gifts that you have penned in in your current accounts you won't be able to get those will the graphics be final whoa such a big question you have to know that technically nothing is definitive but the game evolves with its time and the graphics have uh, had a lot of work done on to them behind. So as I said, the shields, we've changed them. Classes, we've changed them. The inky veil is completely redesigned. Mm, you can see the difference between the uh, 
sprites that we've shown you in 2021 and the ones that we've shown you recently. If there's anything that is really a pain point, we can go back on it. But the the strength and the uh, problem with video games is that you can change them at all times. Right? We don't want to do that necessarily. If the entirety of the community or the global consensus is that something is or needs to change or evolve, then we will go back and do that for you. We are getting close to the end. <laughs> we'll get told off if we stay alive for too long. We'll finish on one last important question. Or we do one question each and then we end it. Let's do one question each and then we'll end on that. Bye. Bye. Hello, Metal. They are trying to pick a question from Chuck. He's going to pick two from... There won't be a cycle today, and there won't be a new server for Shadow at the end of the year. When you die, you will not longer lose your cosmetics on Shadow. There's zero class change. There's an NPC that is available in Karnem. We don't know his name anymore. He won't be available immediately on day one, but he will be there. Who will allow you to change classes in Incarnum? Yeah. So the, the, the NPC that currently changes your class at level 20 in the beta will allow you to do the same thing. So, so you can seamlessly change classes and try new stuff. At level 30 max. I think we've covered everything, we've answered all the questions. We, have, we are very excited for tomorrow, just like you. And I reiterated, the beta will open in the afternoon. We're aiming for four and we will tell you if it's before. We're crossing fingers. We're hoping that it is the case that it will be before. But we've given you everything that we can. You will find everything on the, for on the forum. Please give us the uh, feedback when you can. We have community managers available to answer your questions. And we are looking forward to answering your questions. And meet you at the beta. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, can you say bye bye? Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> She's saying bye, bye to the wrong screen. Bye. 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 <laughs> I will stop the stream now.